This episode is dedicated to a breast cancer surgeon, a fantastic lady I had the honor to meet at the MV Fashion Show. Thank you for all of the amazing work that you do. What's up, my Housewives Relatable listeners? It's your girl, Stella, coming to you once again to talk about it all. Hi, guys. I hope everyone is doing well. For my part, I have to say I am still very much on a high from attending the fashion show for Melissa Gorga this past Wednesday at the Grand Mercy in New Jersey. Basically, guys, everything started um, north of the border. Me and my husband basically pretty much drove all night uh, in order to attend the event. And um, when we reached <laughs> the <laughs> the border, the the border officer said, "Okay, you know, they ask you the usual questions." And then she was like, "The lady," she said, uh, "So why are you? Uh, what's bringing you to the United States?" And I was just like, "Well, you know what? I'm gonna tell her the truth, and I'm gonna have some fun with it." So I told the lady, "I said, you know, I have this podcast, and um, I'm attending a very important fashion show for one of the housewives of New Jersey. You know, Melissa Gorga. Well, we're going to a fashion show." And the lady was like, "Oh, okay. Well, have fun then. You know." <laughs> And then my husband looked at me and said, you're too funny. He said, really? You had to say all of that? I said, yes, honey. I'm having fun with this. And it's true. I'm telling her the truth. I do have a podcast. I don't care that it's a small one, but I do have people that listen to me. And I am going to attend a very important fashion show by Melissa Gorga. (laughs) So we basically drove all night. And I had picked a a hotel close to the venue because, you know, we just wanted to park the car and then just eventually just take a cab or an Uber and just to make it to the Grand Mercy, uh, the Grand Mercy (coughs) and attend the event. And, you know, it's something that was like, you know, it comes with food and it comes with drinks. I was just like, you know, that way we can just relax, have some fun and not having to drive back to the hotel. So once we reached there, um... I think we were kind of like not the first ones, but there was there were a few people there, but definitely no lineup at that point, right? And I said to my husband, "Okay, we're kind of like a little bit early. Let's just go take a walk and just check out the premises. I just wanted to see the lake and just go like towards the back with beautiful trees, take a few pictures there." And then as I was walking um at the back to go see the lake, I saw like a car drive by us and it was um basically the person who was driving the car was Joe Benigno and Margaret was at the back with um Lexi and uh, her mother March Senior and I was just like oh this is Margaret and Joe Benigno and March Senior and Lexi right so anyways um they eventually parked the car I think they came out of the car I'm not sure <coughs> what they were doing at that point um maybe they were trying to see if there was a way to go into the venue um from the back door but um you know they saw us like they saw me and my husband there they didn't say anything at the time and i just remember thinking that you know to us fans people of the show podcasters influencers um people that actually tune into the show um every week or into the gossips um sometimes we forget that these people are also working yes it is an event we're attending but for them it's also work right so i'm thinking you know not too much of it at that point i'm just like some people sometimes they just need some time like they're in the zone and maybe in her mind margaret is like okay you know i'm I'm about to shoot a scene very soon and maybe she's just trying to remain calm and focused so I definitely didn't want to um, bring her out of her zone, right? So I just uh, kept quiet, kept to myself. 
and then eventually you know people started arriving and with the lineup thing and then they let us through and then once i came into the venue i saw her there uh in the cocktail and food area and she was already interacting with fans um that were there and i was just like oh my gosh this is margaret and then she was you know talking to people taking pictures hi how are you like being very welcoming and warm to the fans so um at some point in time i was waiting for a drink you know uh, there were quite a few people there waiting at the bar um waiting to get served i have to say the bartender there was this gentleman uh this man with white hair like in a kind of like into a ponytail and this lady those guys they were just like amazing like amazing bartenders i even ended up having a conversation with with one of them with um the gentleman and he was just like a very very sweet person so uh and the lady was very like she was great as well and then at some point in time when i was waiting i turn around and i see that i'm like rubbing (laughs) elbows with another guy and (laughs) that person that guy was no one other than joe gorga and i have to say i have to tell you guys Joe Gorga. Well, I guess I knew that Joe Gorga was a celebrity, a star, um, because I've heard people talk about how he interacts with the crowd uh, just from attending BravoCon. But I have never attended BravoCon myself, so I never got to experience the energy of Joe Gorga. And let me tell you that this guy is a machine. Okay, I've seen Joe. First of all, Joe is like a people's magnet. Okay, a people magnet. He attracts women, men, like he talks to everyone. Okay, like the women were like literally, Joe, 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 I need a picture with you. And he's like, come here, sweetie, come here. You know, which angle? How many pictures? Your friend, too. Okay, you come here. And he looks at every single one of them in the eyes and he smiles and he doesn't skip a a beat like this guy has so much energy and um, you know basically the way you see him on the show how he's very warm and welcoming to people that's how he comes across and at some point in time I was looking at him and I was just like oh my gosh like this is Joe Gorga just like right beside me but everyone wanted to take a picture with him so I was just like okay you know eventually I'll have my chance and uh at the last minute, I decided, no, I'm actually not going to take a picture with Joe. I want my husband to take a picture with Joe. Because uh, to me, I was just like, you know what? That That's that's going to be a good memory of it all for me, right? And um, I ended up taking, like, the best picture of my husband and Joe. It's, like, a super cool picture. And he was so kind to my husband. He was so nice. He's, like, looking at him, asking him, like, a few questions, and he's just very endearing, and, uh, you know, Joe kind of has a little bit of an intense look, but when you see him in person, it's like he has, like, the most beautiful eyes that I have, like, beautiful eyes. Like, I always knew that from watching him on TV, but in person, they really come, like, alive, and he has broad shoulders, and he's, like, all muscular, and, like, he looks great, to be honest, and the, the the ladies they love him okay I was there <laughs> at some point in time there was this lady and uh, me and her were kind of like waiting to take a picture well this is how it happened I was having a drink and then I was sitting down and then I saw this man walk across the room and just stand on the complete opposite side of the room by himself and that man was John Fuda and you guys know I love John Fuda I love him on the show I think he's great I know some of you will say oh my god Stella what do you like John Fuda for a lot of people say that people come in the comments and tell me John Fuda he you have such a horrible taste in men people don't worry about me I have my husband I like him as a character on the show it's not that deep worry about yourself don't worry about me and I will say it and I will continue to say it again I like John Fuda on the show (laughs) so I saw John and I was like oh my gosh 
John, I need to have a picture with you. And he said, with me? You want a picture with me? And I was just like, yeah. And he had like the brightest, the warmest smile. And um, we were just about to take a picture and in walked in the cameras. In walked in the cameras. And, you know, when they come, they kind of lock down the area. And then you don't necessarily have access to... um, you know, the the talent or like the, 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 the cast members, right? So basically, I was just like, okay, you know, they're going to film their scene and I'm just going to wait for a little bit and then I'll get my picture. And then the scene went on for quite some time and I just waited pa- patiently. And um, while I was waiting, I was speaking to another lady and uh, she was just like, I want a picture too. And I was just like, who do you want a picture with? And at that point, you know, there was John Fuda. There was Joe Gorga, there was Frank Catania, there was Nate Cabral, and there was um, Polly. Yes, Polly was there, and they were like filming a scene together. So I said to the lady, "Which one do you want?" And she said, <laughs> "Which one do I want?" She's like, "I want them all. I'm Italian. I want it all." So we both had a good laugh over that. And then she said, no, seriously, the person that I really want to picture with is Joe Gorga. She said, I love him so much. He is so cute. So let me just tell you guys, the ladies, the ladies, they love Joe, Joe Gorga. They love him. Not just the ladies, everyone, everyone that was in that venue. Joe Gorga had an entourage of people following him around like wherever he was going there was a horde of ladies following him there was also a horde of guys following him as well and he is just really engaging he works the room um, and he's he's such a professional he never said no to anybody he looked at everyone in the eyes he greeted everyone touched everyone he was so sweet it was really good to see in action and after I finally had my chance to take the picture, I actually took a group picture with the man. Um, I stayed back a little bit and I talked to Nate Cabral and I had a really cool conversation with him because, you know, I told you guys, my husband is European, he is Portuguese and so is Nate. So we talked about that and we talked because they're basically from the same area. So it was really, really cool to engage and talk to him about that. And just like, he is like the warmest person. He is so down to earth and he's just like yeah you know i'm kind of like you know in this thing with my wife and i'm here to support her he's like this go happy go lucky guy and very very down to earth and such a gentleman so i definitely enjoyed my interaction with him um after that i didn't really have a chance to connect with margaret because you know she's busy she's margaret everyone's looking at her everyone's just like margaret this margaret that so you know, she was giving a lot of attention to the fans, but I do um, remember I kind of hovered over a scene and I was watching her having a conversation with Danielle Cabral. And I remember seeing Margaret sit down on a bench and then the cameraman said, OK, you know, let's let's go. Let's do this. And. Margaret, I just saw her basically come alive and just transform. Like one second she was this person that was working the room, working the crowd, and the next person it was just like and scene, right? And I remember like looking at her and looking at her demeanor, looking at her mannerisms, and looking at you know how she approached that scene with Danielle. And I was thinking, wow, this woman is really made for this. You know, she is good. She knows what she's doing. Margaret is a professional. And um, I remember saying to my husband, she was made for this. You know, she was made for this reality TV world, right? And you guys will know eventually when the show airs why I'm saying that. But it was really good to see um, in action and how it all played out. So um, I had the chance to have a conversation with Joe Benigno. Joe uh, is such a sweet person, sweet man again down to earth i had like a very good conversation with him we just talked about you know men toys like you know the ones that you take for hunting and (laughs) motorcycles because he's very much into that and he was just a gentleman and very very warm i i have to say like every every single person that i've interacted with was 
so sweet to me and so nice and so engaging like I had a chance to talk to Marge Sr. Marge Sr. I had the best conversation with her. Um, She is such a joy. The way she is on the show but in person she is oh my gosh like I was talking to this woman and she is very there's something special about March right and I'm really happy that we had a chance to connect and talk and I did the same thing with Donna Marco and Melissa's aunt and had a picture with them um, both and they were just like you know funny and kooky and I told Donna I said you know every time you go on the podcast you need to go back more often because I always get such a kick out of you guys know I love Donna Marco I think she's great for the show and that family is truly amazing like the whole time I was there I was I, I, I kept on thinking you know Melissa has such a great like Melissa and Joe right they have such a great ecosystem because you could see like these people like they have a lot like Melissa has a lot of family and friends and those people they all showed up for her and they all speak highly of her of Joe you could see they have each other's back and um, you know her sister Kim Perella was there and she's such a firecracker I basically watch her all night having fun with Maria their friend we've seen her on the show a few times and uh, she was just letting loose having fun engaging with people engaging with fans uh, she didn't skip a beat um, another thing I didn't notice I didn't see Lisa like I'm not, don't quote me on, on that on that guys but I did not see Lisa Simpson Melissa's sister so I don't know if she was actually there but I definitely saw Kim Perella a few times um, when it comes to Dolores, I had a small interaction with her. Uh, my uh, my husband interacted with her a little bit more, you know, because, you know, she's Dolores, right? Quick Catania. So he's like, I have to talk to Dolores at some point. So then, you know, he had his chance and said, hi, Dolores. And she looked at him. He said, like, she gave him, like, the warmest, like, kind of, like, wa- like, eye contact and she said hi sweetie he grabbed his hand and she's like thank you for coming you know thank you for watching the show and she had a smile and she's she's very I, I watched her I watched her in action the whole time not just with my husband but with everyone like women men uh even me she's like hi how are you thank you and like for me it, it was like even shorter because she actually had to film a scene but she still stopped in her track looked at me smiled and then she was like well okay thanks for coming and then she walked away right so um rachel fuda you know a lot of people say rachel fuda she's beautiful on the show she's even more beautiful in person that is totally true i've seen rachel talk to her for a bit she has this big smile on her face at all times Uh, we took a few pictures together she was very very cool and so was kayla you know uh, the girl that owns the eat clean bro with her husband she is a funny girl like we had a little bit of fun together outside took a few pictures uh she's actually quite tall she was towering over me you know a lot of them are like quite petite but this one is quite tall so i have to say that it was um It was a little bit surprising because, you know, you never really know, like, from watching them on TV how tall they are, right? But this girl was, like, she's a tall girl. But definitely very, very sweet. So, Danielle Cabral, I did not interact with Danielle. I did see her, and I was very close to her at some point. She just turned around. uh, She went to the bar. She saw me, and she said hi. And then she kind of grabbed her drink and left, right? That's the only interaction I had with Danielle. But I had, like, a very pleasant Uh, conversation with her husband Nate Cabral as for Jennifer Aiden Jennifer actually Bill wasn't there Jennifer walked in at some point like she was coming into the party and I was just walking out for a few minutes outside get some fresh air and um, I kind of bumped into her a little bit but we didn't talk or exchange she had a big smile on her face and I've seen her interact with fans take pictures and that kind of stuff but I didn't have a chance to interact with her uh, and I did not interact with Jackie Goldschneider at some point in time I didn't even know she was there but eventually I kind of turned over and she was there having like she was shooting a scene so um, I think she was shooting a scene if I'm correct I think Jennifer was there as well so 
Oh, by the way, you know, you guys, um, you probably know this by now because uh, she has come out with a video, um, this influencer, Chrissy Balls. You know, she does those TikToks and um, Instagram posts. So I think she did one on the night of the actual fashion show. And she talked about um, she was at the bar and I think she was at the bar or by the buffet. Anyways, um, Jennifer Aiden and Jackie Goldschneider approached her at some point in time and kind of like try to push Teresa Judice on her and try to convince her that Teresa is so good and not as bad as people think and that she should give Teresa a chance because if you guys are familiar with uh, Chrissy Balls she does all of those little vignettes on TikToks and it's not just about the Real Housewives about a lot of things but sometimes she does talk about Teresa and Louis and it's usually um you know not always in their favor to say it lightly <laughs> they're pretty funny though her videos so anyways um so i guess jackie was uh, trying to push Teresa on her according to chrissy balls and uh, chrissy was kind of like oh well you know i'm not surprised that jen is trying to do that because we know that she's Teresa's girls she's Teresa's girl but when it comes to Jackie, it was a little bit surprising given what Teresa and her had gone through over the years. But um, it kind of reminded me of that scene, you know, in Nashville, the day after Teresa threw that entire table at Margaret. Um, at some point in time, they were in the kitchen, all the ladies, and they were having breakfast. And then Jackie was being very vocal about Teresa not being, you know, like a good person or someone who wants to destroy people's lives. And then Jennifer kind of interjected and said, well, I don't understand. I'm a little bit confused because last year you sort of like accepted her apology. You said you forgave her. So what's up with that? Why are you saying that now? And then Jackie said, I never really truly accepted her. I just decided to uh, move on because I didn't want her to continue to... Um, destroy my life that's what she said to jennifer aiden and melissa melissa gorga <laughs> she was there and she she made a valid point she said at that point uh well i don't understand like how can she destroy your life if there's nothing to destroy which i thought was a very valid statement and i can't remember what jackie said in response but it didn't it didn't really quite make sense so um at the end of the day jackie um, I don't know, it kind of stayed in the back of my mind, like, is there a reason why Jackie does not want to have a uh, confrontation with Teresa? Because, you know, Teresa did that whole thing with Evan and all of that. So I don't know, maybe Teresa has something on Jackie. Who knows, right? Just I'm just speaking hypothetically here. Uh, and by the way, I did not see Evan. So both uh, Bill, Aiden and Evan Goldschneider were not at the party. Uh, Frank and Brittany were there. Um, I didn't interact with Frank. My husband did. Uh, I didn't interact with Brittany, but I saw her in passing. And I have to say about Brittany, she is absolutely gorgeous in person. Like on the show, I find that she is pretty, but it's almost like, I don't know if it always does her justice on the show. Like sometimes she, like to me, she appears a little bit more like she appears more youthful in person like she she is very 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 pretty that girl so anyways uh, i saw her engage and talk to fans so that was enough for me and um oh another thing that i have to say i had like a conversation with melissa's cousin-in-law um Mike Masco and at some point in time we were both at the bar and we just started talking just like you know small talk and at some point in time I said to him hey congratulations on your wedding I've seen the pictures it looked amazing and then he was thanking me and then at some point I said you know isn't it a little weird like that I know about your wedding and like what's going on and then you don't really know who I am right it's like I know it's kind of weird and we both had a laugh about it but he was so sweet and I have to say I've seen him him, like obviously on TV and I've seen him in pictures and he always has a great smile but that smile is something it's something else in person I was looking at his feet and I was just like wow he has such a great smile this guy and we maybe talked for 10 minutes and I have to say man I can't say it enough like Melissa has like a great entourage of people they 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 just they're just very sweet and like you know they seem solid to me so I think Melissa and Joe are in very good hands one thing that I have to say I was pleasantly pleasantly surprised because you know 
On Housewives Relatable here, we're never mean. I can be a little shady sometimes, <laughs> but never mean. And at some point in time, I was dancing on the runway and I was having so much fun. And then I turn around and I see this lady who's having fun as well. And I look at her and I think my face must have said it all because I just said, oh my gosh, you are? You're Jen Fessler, right? And she looked at me and she had the biggest smile on her face. And she literally grabbed me and gave me the warmest hug. Jen Fessler gives the best hugs. And you know, at times I've been a little shady about Jen on the podcast. Never mean, I just said a few things. You know, she was new. The thing about the mozzarella and throwing Jen out of the party and all of that. But you know, like I was just giving my opinion at the time, which is fine, right? But I've also said that she grew on me and I, I like the fact that she shared so much with the fans on her season and that her mom and her twin aunt and all of that and like her relationship with her husband and how it all went down so jen is good people she is warm this woman you could tell she is she was probably like thinking at some point i really wanted this like i wanted to be on the show and now she is right and it doesn't matter in what capacity she is on the show and it's almost like that moment where andy said jen fessler and he announced her at the reunion and she said please can you say it again and it's almost like she is not ashamed of the fact that she wants to take it all in and she is like this is my moment this is my one chance this is my opportunity so i'm gonna give the kisses to the fans i'm gonna give the hugs to the fans i'm gonna tell them i love them i'm gonna tell them they're great i'm gonna be the warmest and the sweetest to them that's what i got from jen fessler and it was just like i felt at that point like oh my gosh like it's almost like this like this friend this old friend that you have right it felt really really good so only good things to say about Jen Fessler at the fashion show. And lastly, guys, you know, Melissa Gorga, she was busy because she had a fashion show to produce. So she wasn't like necessarily partaking in the whole cocktailing and the food and all of that. So Melissa, I didn't get to see her until the very, very end, right? And um, I have to say, like, the fashion show like she has this boutique so the clothes everything was on point the production it was an event you know she had I'm sure you guys have seen some of it on social media like things you know like that had to do with the violin and you know the tap tap and all of that it was great right it was very very well produced but the fact that she came on to her song at the end and thanked everybody and start and she was a bit emotional where she was talking about envy and how it's been seven years and she looked absolutely beautiful she's a very beautiful woman like the way you see her on the show is the way she is in real life um that outfit and her hair the curly hair like she looked like totally totally exquisite and um uh, you know, I was in a mission at the end because everybody was having a good time. I met so many great people. Everybody was enjoying themselves. We were definitely all a little overserved, but still, you know, still cool. <laughs> and I was on a mission to find Melissa Gorga. And I was just like, where is Melissa? Have you seen Melissa? Have you seen Melissa? And eventually I saw Melissa and she was the warmest person to me. We talked, we took a picture and she's just great. I have nothing nothing negative to say about the fashion show and all of the great people I've met there and you know what guys there were a few influencers there like Philly, Philly Diva um, the Pink Pop box um i interacted with them both both sweetie pies at some point in time they actually guarded my purse while i was waiting to uh, take my picture with john fuda and my husband was getting us more drinks and those guys like philly diva like forever like you were amazing i had so much fun with her dance with her she interacted with my husband mark the pink pop box like sweet as pie the sweetest 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 person you know definitely glad i've met them and i did not get to interact with christy ball but one christy balls but one thing that i will say i remember when i saw her i was thinking this girl definitely has balls because she walked into this fashion show 
by herself looking great you know she had a beautiful little pretty dress on and she walked in that place with confidence and it takes a lot of balls to do that right because there's a lot of people and it's it's agitated like there's people in there and it's like it, it could be a little bit daunting and the fact that this girl walked in there by herself and did her thing I was just like you know kudos to her and lastly guys you know there's always a little bit of drama (laughs) here in New Jersey there's always a little bit of drama about New Jersey I should say um Someone has said, you know, that podcast, they like to talk and say things about Melissa and kind of like implying that Melissa has never been number one on Apple Podcasts and that's something that they have accomplished and something that Melissa has never accomplished and probably will never accomplish. I just wanted to say I don't think that Melissa Gorga is losing any sleep over that. I think that Melissa Gorga is laughing all the way to the bank every day of the week. And if one thing, people should be a little bit more grateful for Ms. Gorga because she has given them many jobs, an opportunity to talk about her for the past 11 years. Now, who else is powerful? That's all I have for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for listening. I love you all. And as always, be a fan, not fanatical. Ciao.